Hey guys, it's Nate with PlayYourCourt.com. Today we're going to learn Federer's forehand with one simple drill. All right, we got a fun one today, guys. We're going to finally learn how to hit the Federer forehand with one simple drill. This is for Play Your Court members with a rating of 70 and, ab and above. All right, so this is a little bit more advanced, all right? If you're not familiar with the Play Your Court rating system, then check out the platform, check out the link below, and there you're gonna receive your own rating so that we can pair you with competitive players in your area and you can get a rating, all right? You can get a ranking in our challenge league, so definitely check that out. Let's jump right into it. What are we talking about with the Federer forehand? A lot of us are out there trying to, to duplicate it, and you know, we're watching YouTube. We're watching some of these other platforms where we're watching video. It's exactly how I learned rewinding old VHS's, watching my heroes, Samparis, Courier, Agassi, these guys, and just really trying to emulate what they were doing or technique. All right, fortunately I have a little drill today that's gonna help you feel it, all right? And so what's happened is some of you out there, you've learned kind of the traditional way to hit the forehand, and it's a little bit dated to where the racket's moving all the way back, strings are the way getting, facing the back court, all right? And from here, through the pendulum, we're finding our power, our pace, our spin. Federer's forehand doesn't operate like that, all right? It works much more compact, hence the way he's able to play so close to the line and take so much time from his opponent. So what we're gonna have to do here is get two rackets, all right? Our first racket with our dominant hand, we're gonna hold in a semi-western grip or an eastern grip, all right? If you're like Fed and you got the eastern grip, whatever it is, that's fine, but make sure you have that grip. The second grip, you're gonna keep your racket on top and from here, your non-dominant hand is gonna wanna make sure that it's on top of the racket because you need a flat surface. If you can t make your rackets lay on top of one another, all right, then you're good to go. So you can tell my left hand I've got a semi-Western grip. All right, and the reason this is important is it's gonna set the perimeter on my swing. All right, so as I take the racket back, I get my two L's that we talk a lot about. This is the power position. And from here, because now my left arm is creating a perimeter, it's not gonna allow me to go as far back as I may normally prefer, right? I'm not gonna be able to get there. From here, I'm gonna start feeling the two rackets dropping. I'll go ahead and tuck, enter an extension and the lag. And from here, I can fire away. And this racket here, We'll just pull in like we traditionally do with the non-dominant arm, ensuring that we don't over-rotate. So one more time, we're putting the two rackets together, our two L's, we're going back, we're dropping the racket, and we're working through. All right, so let's put it into action now and take a look at what it looks like hitting a live ball. And this is absolutely something you should try. Just make sure you have two rackets, and then we can start fixing that forehand and get it firing a little bit more like the Mighty Feds. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's instructions. Super short and actionable. Get out there with two rackets, work on that joint position, position, especially if you're over rotating and you have a forehand that's a little too big. All right, this is gonna help you shorten it and find that contact in front, helping you take away time from your opponent. Guys, if you liked today's instruction, hit the like button. If you loved it and you just can't miss another player court video, hit subscribe and please hit the link below. Check out the platform, super cool stuff in there. Like I said, we're gonna match you with players of your same ability. Get out there in the Challenge League and start competing today. See you soon.